Hey, what's up guys? It's Covergod here and welcome back to part 7 of our Zero to Hero series. In this episode, we're going to cover functions and how to use them. So, let's just open the script back up and in the previous video, we covered else and else ifs. Now, if you haven't watched that already, I would strongly suggest watching that before continuing with this video. So, let's just clear up the script and let's talk about functions. Now, if by now you haven't understood how a script works, let me just illustrate this for you. So let's say we have um, uh, my age is equal to 340, for example, and let's print my age. The way the script would work is when you press run, the script will start off at this line, okay? Line number one, it will register this variable and it will go down until it reaches the end of the script and perform every single action, okay? Now, if you add functions, it's slightly different than that, okay? So let me just show you something. So let's remove this print, okay? And let me just define a function and then I'll explain how it works. So function print age, okay? Print my age. Okay, now the way this would work is the script would go here, okay? It would start at line one as always. And it will register the variable, my age is equal to 340, okay? It will go down, it will register the function, okay? It will know, essentially, that the function exists, but it will not run the function. So if I just press run, nothing will happen, okay? Because I did not call the function, okay? So imagine this as a sort of... Um, just a, a code block is what it's called, okay? So imagine this as a block of code, and this will not execute, so n like the stuff inside of here will not happen unless you call out the function name. So this is the function name, okay? This is what you've called the function. Now, to define a function, you always have to write function before the function name. And just add these two little parentheses here after the function name. And always, always, guys, same as with uh, the if statements, um, just make sure that you actually have an end at the end of this. So essentially, you're just encapsulating everything inside of here, okay? So everything between the, the parentheses and the end is inside the function. So this here, pretty much. Now, the way you would actually make a function work is by, as I said, writing the function name, okay? And... Essentially, you just copy this part and paste it, okay? That's how you make a function work. So now, if you press run, it's going to run the function, okay? And it's going to print out the age. So let's just do one more example. Okay, so remove this, something completely new. Uh, let's just keep that there. Let's say your age is equal to 200, okay? Now, I want to print out my age plus your age. Okay, and let's uh, rename this to my age plus yours. Okay, so we're essentially just printing out my age plus your age. Now, see how this has a little underline? That's because if you just hover over that, that does not exist. Print age is no longer in the script. Why? Because we changed the function name. So what do we do? As I said, just copy this part, okay, and just paste that. So you just... Uh, you know, referencing the function name here, so you're just writing the function name, and just writing two parentheses. And this would just essentially print out 340 plus 200, okay, and that's 540, and that works just fine. And now, functions are pretty handy when it comes to scripting in general, uh, so I would suggest practicing a few, you know, things on your own before continuing with the rest of the video because now we're just going to delve slightly deeper and uh, work with functions a bit more. Because like this, functions are pretty handy already. However, the thing that makes them super handy is things which are called parameters and arguments, okay? So, let's just do this and leave it blank, okay? So what if I wanted to add random things so let's make a calculator um, function okay so imagine you're programming a calculator so you know how you have the addition button okay that's what we're going to be making so function add numbers and we're just going to call add numbers 
Okay, now if I run this, nothing will happen because there's nothing in the function. Okay, so we actually need to fill out the function. Now, how would we add two numbers without having any variables defined at all? And that is where parameters come in, okay? So you can actually fill out the parentheses with anything you want. So if I want to uh, add A and B, okay, I just simply print out A plus B. Now, right now, again, this will do nothing because you're not feeding it anything here, okay? So if I print, it will not do anything. It will actually give you an error, okay? And you do not want that. This just pretty much says that these two are nil. Nil means nothing, non-existent, okay? So if you ever see nil, N-I-L, okay? Just know that that means non-existent. It doesn't exist. So now we just need to make A and B exist. So remember, these here are called parameters, okay? And the stuff that you put in when you're calling the variables, okay, are called arguments, like this. Now, whatever you put in this uh, will actually get referenced here. So imagine this as, like, a machine, okay? And you're feeding it these arguments. So if I want to add 30 and 50, okay, I would just feed it these two numbers it will get passed onto this function over here, okay? And A and B are now 30 and 50 respectively, okay? So you just replace these with that. You're just passing on the numbers that you want to add, and this will print out 80, okay? So that's 30 plus 50, 80, okay? Let's do another example, okay? Let's just clear up everything. Let's assume you haven't understood a single thing I just said, and that's okay if you're just starting out, okay? Don't worry. Let's say you want to subtract numbers now and not add them. So, function subtract numbers, okay? And now you actually know that you need two parameters, okay, to subtract. So what you would do is you'd call that number one and number two, okay? Parameters can be named anything, okay? This is just for your convenience. And now what we're going to do is print number one minus number two. Okay, so essentially what you're doing here is just subtracting them. You're subtracting number 2 from number 1. Now, this will not do anything on its own because you're not actually calling the function. Okay, so as I said, just copy this part here, the function name. Okay, and now these turn into arguments. However, if you put your mouse over that, it has a yellow underline. Okay, and it's saying unknown global number 1. Why? Because number one and number two are parameters in this case, okay? However, if you just pass them over here, they will become arguments. And arguments need to be actual things. So these can be called anything, but these cannot be called anything, okay? That might be slightly confusing, but these either have to be directly inputted like this, okay? Or can actually feed them variables. So let's say a is equal to 20 and b is equal to 100. Okay, you could either do this, you could do this 45 plus 20, okay, or you can actually do b plus a like this, okay. So an, an alternative to this would be function alternative, okay, and you just print out a plus b. However, this would not work if you defined a plus b underneath the function, okay? And that is why you would use parameters, okay? Now, in this case, uh, just give me a second. I don't think it will work. Actually, it might. Yeah, it will work. Um, however, that would not be the case if you were using local variables, okay? So, in the future, when I introduce local variables, you have to define the variables before the function if you're going to use them in this way. But don't let that distract you. I'll probably say that again when I uh, use local variables. However, for now, ideally, just stick around and by stick around, I mean just keep using this concept here. So just, uh, just give it random numbers like this. And that's just going to add 34 plus 55 like we've been doing thus far. And that's all I have guys for functions, just make sure to keep practicing using random variables and random functions for different uses and just piecing them together like a puzzle, okay? As they say, practice does make perfect, okay? So thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe, leave suggestions in the comment section down below about what I should be making next, and I'll see you guys next time.